Callum Hungard Bottom in the thick of the action as usual, but good performance and a good three points for the team. Yeah, first and foremost, uh, you know, I thought it was a, a brilliant team performance. Um, you know, in such a vital game, we knew it was going to be be a tough game and you know a battle. And I thought we come out on top in the battle, and that's why we 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 was able to then express ourselves and you know get the three points and like you said, a, a couple of goals for myself. Um, you know, but I'm not stupid. I know I didn't have the best of games um, personally. You know, I give the ball away quite quite a lot. Um, you know, but the two goals has got me out of jail and you know. First and foremost, the, the team performance was, was what was important and you know, a great way to bounce back after a, a couple of sticky performances um, you know, and a great three points against a, a really good side that's been on, on fire lately and you know, that puts us second again and, and in touch with St Mirren. So overall, a fantastic day and you know, we'll move on to next week. Yeah. Now you need to talk us through that first goal. Which particular part of your anatomy did it come off? It was uh, my left arm. Um, you know, but my my arm was was in my midriff, so it wasn't on ball. Um, you know, I just seen the defender pass it back, and it was it's quite short. So I thought I'll try and nick in, and you know, luckily for me, Alexander's kicked the ball off me, and, and it span in the net. Um, nine times out of ten, they fly over the bar or or go wide. But you know, I think that was a little bit of luck that we needed today, and and it and it gave us a, a great start to the game, and, and we kicked on from that. You ever scored one like that before? No, I think that's that's the first. Um, yeah. You know, but if I get many more of them, I'll take I'll take them all day, and, and you know, and then that that gave me the confidence then to go and try and get on the ball. Um, you know, like I said, I I got caught in it quite a few times today in the middle of the park, which you know I was told on the sidelines, you know, not to keep doing that. Um, but that's just the sort of player I am. You know, I always want to get on the ball. Um, you know, sometimes I'm going to lose it, and then other times I'll, I'll do something good. But you know, I know. That I need to, to do better than what I've done today, and you know I'm just fortunate that I got the two goals. Yeah. Well, the positives, a couple of tracking finishes, both from Fraser Ayrton and yourself for the third goal. Yeah, I thought Fraser was you know magnificent today and, and fully deserved his man of the match. Um, you know he's had to be patient, wait on the sidelines um, for his chance. Um, you know we played Declan out there and we played Cal Smith out there in recent weeks while Joe's been injured. Um, you know he got his chance today and you know fair play to him, he's took it and you know I thought he was fantastic. Um, you know, now he's got Joe coming back as well. That'll be breathing down his neck. So that's what what competition for places is all about. And you know, it just shows the depth in the squad that we have, and and that's what you need if you're going to have a, a title winning team. And, and I think that's what we've got here. Yeah. We know the manager likes playing with width in the team, and obviously that suits you as well. Mainly out in the right, but a chance to cut inside with an eye for a goal when you get a chance. Yeah, and you know, I, I think we we changed the shape a little bit today. We went with a diamond in the middle, so. You know that brought me and and Fraser there into the into the middle of the pitch a bit, and then you know let the wing backs exploit the space down the side, and you know I thought it worked really well. Um, Fraser coming in for the third goal in particular, coming in and you know passing it to me on the edge of the box, and then I've, I've had a strike and it's gone in. So you know that's what we've worked on all week, and you know just fortunate today that it's paid off. And like I said, fantastic three points, and now we move on to Inverness next week. Goals coming from around the team, and uh, I know you're building up the partnership with Ryan Williamson. There, right? You, you tried to play him in at one point, that didn't quite go off. Still waiting for that first goal for Ryan. Yeah, and you know I probably kept hold of the ball quite quite a bit today, and you know he makes fantastic runs, and and that gives me the the space then you know to go and play, and and no one's catching him when when the big man gets full ahead of steam. Um, you know, I think in recent weeks he's probably not got round me as much as he was in in the early part of the season, and you know that's what I spoke to him about in the middle of the week. Nobody can can stop him when he when he gets on them overlapping runs. Um, you know, the thought he done it brilliant today. You know, a couple of times I slipped him in, and you know the final ball wasn't there. And then you know the second half where I probably should have laid it a, a little bit earlier, and he was in on goal. But you know, I think we've we've built up a, a fantastic partnership over the course of the season, and you know we've just got to keep that going. And and who knows what can happen? Um, you know, I think most of the goals have come down our side. You know, setting up assists and and long may that continue. And overall, having seen the rest of the teams in the league, nothing to fear. Absolutely not, you know, and not not standing there being big headed or taking things for granted. But you know, anybody can beat anybody in in this league on on any given day. You know, as you've probably seen today in the results, you know, in Vanessa beating right. Dundee and, and the likes of that. So, you know, if we just just worry about ourselves and, and go about our own business and, and not worry too much about everyone else, then you know, I think we'll be be all right come the end of the season. But. You know, it's very early on. I'm, I'm not saying we're, we're going to win the league, but you know, if we keep playing like that and, and winning the battles, I think that's first and foremost what we need to do. Uh, you know, win the battles every Saturday, and then you know the quality will take care of itself. That's great, Callum. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jen.